Oh, royal guard ants are huge! Protect the queen! All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome back to Empires of the Undergrowth here. We're in the Formicarium, where in the last episode we have completed Queen of the Hill. We fought off two enemy ant colonies, as well as a bunch of ravenous ladybugs that were eating our food supply, our aphids. That was ours. In the previous episode, before that, we did Rising Tide, fought some giant wolf spiders, and then we fought the slave driver ants in subjugation. So, I have 100 ants available to me in this colony right now. 67 soldiers, 33 workers. And you know what? We're gonna have to get ready, so let's go ahead and send everybody out to forage for this food that's on the surface because I want to have a nice, a nice reserve of food. You can see, and I've also been upgrading. I've been upgrading this so that we should be able to hold even more. I wonder how much food is actually on the surface and how much we're gonna be able to get. I've got my soldiers gathering that group of food and my workers now gathering this group of food. And we're just gonna start dumping all the food here. So I just upped the gamma real quick. What do you guys think? Do you think that's a little bit better? Hold on. I like that. You can kind of, you can see a little bit better what's going on. Now on the surface, it doesn't seem like it's drastically affected. That There should be like a gamma for subterranean stuff and then a gamma for, oh yeah, I like that. The colors are a lot more vibrant, a lot more poppy. And man, my ants are just bringing in so much food. How much is really there? You idiots, go get that food. Oh man, and there's still so much food over here. For some reason, my workers, where are you? I guess they meant, they, they could have just come back from gathering a lot of food. But actually, let's check the DNA strands. So we've got, what, 123 jelly. Oh, you know what we could do? I've got 33 workers, 26 total. I think I've got an idea. All right, check this out. So now I have 13 available. I'm gonna go ahead and build the wood ants. So we've got the black ants, which are our warriors. Now we're gonna get wood ants, which, you know, let's just start centrally because it's always helpful to have these kind of circular clusters here. Ah, all right. So we used a little bit of food on that though, but I still think a reserve of 3,000 is pretty good. Raptor workers have raised their first Formica Rufa ant. Incredible. Incredible. I'm sure it was even possible. Oh, it's possible, all right. All right, so where's that bit of food? Down here? Let's send the warriors as well. So now we can upgrade them. We've got 123 jelly, so this is gonna be key because everyone knows, or you should by now if you saw the last one, that the, uh, Let's see, weakening. Target takes an extra 40% damage. Ooh, that's very expensive. Target takes an extra 40% damage. Further venom attacks? Further physical attacks. We want to deal with venom attacks. It's 100 jelly though. Hmm, I think it's gonna be good. Uh, yep, we did it. We did it! We've unlocked it. Now as far as the jelly, we are short on jelly to do these upgrades. And we can't even get that one either because we're seven short. Oh man, we have so much food in reserve. I am almost tempted to upgrade these bad boys. Now, what does this do exactly? All right, look at this. This is my army right now. We've got 73 warriors, 27 workers. Now, they're cheap to reproduce, so we could use them as kind of meat walls to basically protect my shooters, which is are gonna be the guys who are gonna have to do the most damage here. Look, some of these guys are still hanging out down here. So, do we go for it? Do we try it? I think we do. We don't have the jelly to do anything else. It's time. So, Formicarium challenge number two. Test the might of your Formicarium colony. Will it survive whatever the scientists have planned? I don't know. But I'm anxious to find out. Made significant progress. Perhaps it is time we began phase two of the trial. We're gonna get invaded. There's gonna be ants pouring out from these tubes in the corners. Last time I checked, there was three. Is Let's there one over here? them in with a familiar disturbance. Introduce 20 Formica Fusca ants. Not a problem. The Fusca colony is attached, and the ants are on their way. All right. Everybody's mustering over here. We should make pretty quick work. I'm curious to see how many... Now, the ants... They're not always the smartest. Where are my shooters? There's my shooters. They kind of get up close and personal. But look at that. Our black ant warriors and our wood ant spitters and then our, what, gene thief were they? Or the, were they just the red ants? I see they haven't lost their potency. Now let's try the Formica Rufa ants. 
The Rufa will be more aggressive. Our Raptors will need to put up a strong Ooh, defense. these are the shooters. 20 Rufans. Get them, boys. Get them, boys. Are they spitters? No, they're... Oh, yeah, there's a few spitting. I think we intercepted most of them. So, the goal here is to try to get them before they're able to start spitting, because then they do a lot of damage. As you can see, we've taken maybe three, four casualties total. Not bad. Once again, our raptors have neutralized the threat to their queen. Good. Continue the experiment as before, but don't push the colony too hard. Oh gosh. Of course not. She leaves and then he always goes crazy. He's not gonna be responsible. That man is a savage. Introducing 40 Rufa ants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what I could have done? I'm gonna have an ambush. Maybe. We'll see if this works. Ambush! From the flanks! We need to use tactics, don't we? How's that? We're gonna intercept them and hopefully stop them from... Yeah, that's definitely the way to deal with the spitters. I mean, we should have realized that earlier and I could have planned a much better ambush, but... Excellent defense. Yeah. Alright, what do you got for me? Their stores are full. I guess there must be a little bit of food. Increasing to 50 roof ants. And then if we keep these guys close to here, we should be able to get behind them. If this works well. Okay, wow, that is a lot of them, man. We're still at total food production, man. We're or, or, or total food reserves of almost 5,000. Ambush! Get them, boys! Wow, we could have timed that a little bit better, I think. Because they're mostly dead. And some of my workers aren't even... No, I don't think that's 20 reds, are they? Good, good. Good. Seeds have been dropped. Where, 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 where? Get them, boys. Are there any more seeds? Well, I guess there's... There's there's no storage room. There's no storage room. Now, let's see how they handle the Rufa and the Fusca invaders. We will start with 30 of each. All right, what do we got? So these are the... Actually, yeah, we'll send the warriors to fight their warriors, our workers. No, 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 that's not what I meant to do. Get them. So we got spitters and we got a few workers distracting them, hopefully. There we go. How many did we lose there? We lost a lot of workers. We lost a decent amount of warriors, mostly spitters, actually. Gather that food while we can. A wonderful victory on two fronts. I'm anticipating spiders, crabs. I'm anticipating some of the big nasties we've seen in previous battles. Perhaps we should try three colonies this time. Introducing 30 of each. Rufa, Fusca, and Raptor ants. Oh, these guys are no problem. Ours are better. And then we'll just have everybody hold the line. Our reds will stop theirs. We'll take casualties, but our reds are better. I'm fairly certain. We're gonna take a lot of casualties to the spitters. Oh look, we even have a soldier helping out over there. I guess our spitters aren't really doing much help. We lost a considerable amount. And then what we'll do is send the workers to try to grab as much food as they can. How many of these are ours? How many are theirs? How many did we lose? A marvelous victory. A marvelous victory. Give me all that food, buddy. Lord knows when we'll get another opportunity to get more food. And we'll probably have to retreat right when he says something. Hmm, I wonder how long they will survive against a sustained flow from all three colonies. Yep, Let's pull back. See. All right, so we've got the spitters, we got the soldiers, we got the workers. But what we'll do is we're gonna go for uh, local superiority here. Doing well, my intrepid reptiles, but what's this? <laughs> a giant tiger beetle has joined. Oh god. Me. We got a whoa! Massive tiger beetle! The biggest bug we fought so far in terms of sheer size. I'm fairly certain. But he's getting acid spit all over his face. And we've got so much food in reserves. Oh no, three tiger beetles. Okay, that's just that's just dirty. That's just, that's just mean. 
We should be able to continually get food as well. I wonder if our workers are gonna be able to do that. We're losing some, but we can we can resupply at such a quick rate that I think this won't be too much of an issue. It depends what other big nasties he has planned for us. Will there be crabs? Will there be spiders? I don't... Oh, yeah, we've dealt with all three of the big tiger beetles. Tiger beetles. What a cool name. Like, in a very scary bug. I remember on the beach mission, these guys were particularly nasty. Sustained assault. It is of no concern. We've got black warriors. We've got... The wood ant spitters, and we've got- what are the red guys called again? Worker ants. I guess red worker ants, black soldiers, and then wood ant spitters, baby. Not a problem. Look at this. Look at our numbers. They come in, they're trickling in. So I think it would be foolish to kind of fight on the surface. Instead, we kind of just thermopylae it and just eliminate them. Oh my god. Good work, Wolf my spiders! Boy. But what's this? Oh my One, god! Two, oh! Three, uh, Whoa! 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 Spiders. It hardly seems fair. What? You're cheating! My queen is no! What? What is going on? What happened to the queen? The mm. ants fell victim to the Rufus Formic acid spray far too quickly. We should start again with a healthier colony. Very well. Purge the Formicarium. Oh my gosh i hate wolf spiders all right so here it is again we've got the sustained flow from all three colonies spitters black warriors red workers wood ant spitters that being we are going this is gonna be interesting i got my uh workers you are oh, doing well, my there we go here's the tigers what's this a giant tiger beetle has joined the fray. I'm wondering, after we defeat these tiger beetles, how's his health doing? He's getting hit. I, I would. I wish you could kind of focus. I tell all my spitters to focus their attacks on him. Ooh, taking the casualties for sure. But we're able to deal with most of them, and my spitters are staying alive. Well, there, uh, a few of them are getting hit. There's one tiger down. Maybe two. But then, shortly after dealing with the tigers, we need to pull our workers back to defend the queen, I think, immediately? Yeah, pulling all of them back. Or trying to, anyway. And hopefully they can buy the time... ...that we need. Let's see... And actually, you know what? I'm gonna call the spitters back as well. Cause soon there's just gonna be spiders dropped on our faces. And nobody likes that. Hey! Hey! Get back here! They're just hanging out near the front. Oh god. Pull back! Pull back! Why aren't they pulling back? Oh god, this could be bad. We've got a few people defending this area. I'm- I'm pretty nervous because I don't think that's gonna be enough. I'm literally calling everybody back, but since they're engaged- work, my little ants. But what's this? Alright, they're in! Two, three, uh, nine, ten wolf spiders! Ten wolf spiders?! And there you go! That's not even fair! We need to have them pulled back before the battle starts, apparently. Drats! You nasty wolf spiders! I hate this scientist, man. Look at that. I guess they just absolutely destroyed everybody. So there's no way to stop them. They just run and get into your base. There's literally no way to stop them. Alright, guys. So this is when the constant wave attacks come. I've decided, now, real quick, I upgraded my queen. Look at this, Royal Guard. Once she drops to 75% health, 14 Royal Guard will spawn. I'm also keeping the workers on well, her. My intrepid but, but, what's this? It A giant seems... tiger beetle has joined the yeah, I hate these freaking tiger beetles. But we've got a ton of stuff here. We've got a ton of our ants just guarding the gates here. And another. And another. Oh no. I, I just can't risk sending my workers up there to gather the food. I guess we've got plenty of food piles right here, right? And we've got over- we've got almost 7,000 food left. We've killed the tiger beetles. So we know that the wolf spiders are coming, and this is the area which I haven't been able to get past before. I've got 20 workers, which have been upgraded, to be able to deal with this kind of a stuff. They're at least at level 3, right? So I'm hoping- 
that we're able to just hold them down. And I know these wolf spiders are coming, man. We, we've seen it before, and uh, I'm kind of nervous about it. But royal guards and our red workers should be able to withstand this onslaught. If not, we're going to have to go back to the drawing board, man. Get some more technology, <laughs> or rather, genetic upgrades for our ants. And then hope for the best in the next one. There's some pretty cool abilities for the queen, but I just never thought that I'd need to upgrade her because I thought I'd be able to keep her safe. Here's her Praetorian Guard, which are basically red worker ants. Come on. Come on, you. Where are those wolf spiders at? I know they're coming. I know they're coming. There they are. They're dropping. You can see the shadows. Oh, my God. Hold on to your butts. Wolf spiders. All right, so at least they're delaying the wolf spiders. Oh, God. I think... Oh, royal guard ants are huge! Protect the queen! Oh, God, she's still going down? No way! All right, guys, those wolf spiders cut through our ants like a hot knife through butter, supported by aerial bombardment of the mothers of all bombs. Basically, we just get wrecked so hard. And it's happened, well, we've seen, what, maybe three in this video? <laughs> I've tried it, I think, six times now. Now, I believe that maybe in the next episode we could try to switch this. Maybe control group one of the workers and warriors hold the gates supported by the spitters. And control group two, the 44 warriors sit back. Because I refuse... I don't refuse, but I think it's almost ridiculous to expect me to grind these missions. I've played Subjugation five times, I think. Four, well, at least four times to get up the Royal Jelly to upgrade my queen. So that means if you think about this, if you look at the missions, right? There are four missions. I've played maybe, I think I've done this one twice and this one four times. So six, seven, eight, eight missions total. That seems to be a little bit excessive. Our royal guard ants and the invulnerable invulnerability for 20 seconds doesn't work. The control groups, once they're engaged, they refuse to act. So it's like you have to plan ahead. And it's very unoptimized, but I think at this point it's our only hope. But let me know your ideas, your tactics that you think we should try out. Because I'm thinking the, my next choice would be to have control group 1 and 3 hold the gates here. The hot gates! Our Thermopylae, while uh, our main force is actually guarding the queen. I'm thinking that might be what we have to do. Because I have to do this before the sustained wave attack comes, or my ants will refuse to listen to my orders. So, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Baron. We have encountered a pivotal moment in the status, the stage, the emergence of our Formicarium as an empire. And these wolf spiders are the bane of our existence. Let me know what we should do. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.